Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Lightworkers Together. This is Val. I hope you all are doing really well today. Our temperatures are coming down just a little bit. Humidity is still up here, but the temperatures are coming down, so I'm truly grateful for that. Um, and I wanna come on and just do a quick short um, reminder about a topic that's important for all of us. It's, it seems like an obvious one, but I found even for myself, um, it helps just to remind ourselves. Um, and this, the, today's topic is the power of positive thinking and energy. And like I said, it seems like an obvious one, but when we are running around in our day-to-day -day lives, it is super easy to get caught up in whatever's going on. And it can even be, um, it can be big things, right? It can be long protracted things going on in your life. Um, it can be little things. It kind of doesn't matter. Um, but I got a reminder myself the other day, which I think was very much needed is to, when we get into that place where we can feel our energy being pulled down or pushed in more of a um, negative direction, it's a, it's a really, a really good reminder to stop what we're doing because when we get into that lower or negative energy, you know, you attract what you are. It's, that's just the law of nature. And that's the law of manifestation. So it's like we're always bringing in more or less what we are, what what we're sort of transmitting, that energy that we're putting out, you all, that's what we're getting back. Um, and so it's really, really important to focus on staying in that positive energy. And of course, nobody, none of us can be in that energy all the time. That's, you know, we're human beings. So unless you're kind of sitting on a mountaintop somewhere with like nothing affecting you whatsoever, it's hard to do. But what I want to say is one of the things I found that helped me other than, you know, there's obvious things a lot of us do where we kind of don't watch the news a bunch. We don't, we don't feed ourselves things that are negative. Like I heard, um, one of the other readers say something about the further he goes along his path of awakening, the more things he cuts out, you know, news, TV, and now he's cutting music and things like that out. So it's kind of different for everybody. I agree that like, I never was a big TV watcher. So that was not a thing for me. It was kind of easy to cut the news out and separate myself from that. Music is different. Um, and everything, all the energy we put out, you all, is tied directly to our emotional state at the time, right? So I would suggest, like for me, I absolutely love music. So that's not something I would ever, ever cut out. I feel like, in fact, it kind of really helps me. But I am not one of those people that listens to... Um, I don't listen to really sort of like negative or harsh music um, or really super sad music. I used to listen to some super sad music, but now I just really kind of try to feed myself all that good uplifting stuff. So that's something that's, that's kind of an easy thing that we can do. You know, if you're going to listen to music, pick a really cheerful, happy song. You know, even if you're feeling down, you'd be surprised how it can kind of help lift you up. Same thing, like if you want to, like the one day I just was like, I want to watch something and I want to watch something that's going to make me laugh. Um, so I put on a comedy to watch. So it's, it's like you don't really have to cut everything out of your life, but it's we need to be careful when we're having those moments in our lives which happen. And it's, it's kind of a daily thing. Like you can start out, you know, in a really high vibing, high energy, and then, you know, something can happen. It's like we can go into work and there can be something negative that happens there that can affect us, you know, immediately. And especially for those of us and many of you that are watching this, most of you probably fall into this category. You know, you're very tapped in, you're empathic. So you tend to feed off of those emotions more, right? So if you are around someone that is giving out negative energy or emotions, that will affect you, okay? And so we kind of have to a little bit shield our energy sometimes from that. And then we have to bounce ourselves back as, as quickly as we can into a positive energy. And the other thing I found that helps is it's really an internal thing. We dwell a lot. If you're like, I'm an Aquarian, <laughs> so I'm an air sign. I spend a lot of time in my head thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and sometimes double thinking. 
I know some of you definitely resonate with that. So that cannot be good in some ways because if what we're thinking about is things from the past, which, you know, I'm one of those people, I like to look at where did I go wrong? Like, what was my mistake? How can I correct it and do better? And I'm not saying that there's anything necessarily wrong with that. But the problem with constantly going back and thinking about what went, what, excuse me, what went wrong is we are then energetically trying to bring forward more of that. So it's almost like we really do, you know, one of the things that you always hear is stay present. And I understand more and more why that is so important because your mind can just, and your emotions will go right with, with the brain. When the brain starts running down those old paths and patterns of like past hurts or, or traumas or mistakes or whatever it happens to be, the emotions will run right with it. And that's where we kind of get off the track. So I found that if you can focus, like really focus on the present, like literally what are you doing in that second? What is in front of you? And focus on that thing. That helps. And also focusing on happy memories. Like if you want to think about something that's definitely going to, you know, help with your positive manifestations and bringing your own energy level back up is to focus on your successes, you know, focus on those happy memories, those good times, you know, focus on all the things that you did right and focus on your dreams of the future that are positive and happy. So we need to kind of put our attention and our energy and our emotions all in that same direction that is positive for us because I know a lot of us kind of struggle with some of our manifestations and, and a lot of it just literally has to do with the energy that we are in. And if you are maintaining an energy that is more worrying over things, worrying what might go wrong, or, you know, trying to plan thing, a million things out and then trying to plan for every possible eventuality, um, we can mess ourselves up a little bit. So um, the power of positive thought and energy can change our lives completely and utterly. It also helps bring in the manifestations that we want for the positive change for ourselves. So I just want to come on here and give a little quick reminder that I know, you know, it's difficult, but we need to, if we can, and this is a daily thing for me guys to, to practice and do is to really just always focus on the positive, stay in that sort of loving, positive energy as much as possible. Um, we're human. If you feel your, your mind sort of wander or getting pulled back to the past or something else, refocus it and, and focus it back on what's right in front of you. Like literally what's right in front of you. Okay. There's a tree in front of me and I'm going to focus on that. You know what I mean? And doing things that sort of bring you joy, you know, things you're passionate about that helps raise your vibration and keep you positive. You know, going out in nature for me being in or around the water are big ones. You know, you can take, um, really good cleansing soft baths or showers. There's just so many things that we can do that are helpful and will raise that vibration. Dancing and listening to, you know, happy, cheerful music, um, doing something kind for yourself or someone else. The list goes on and on. And for those of us, like I have a dog, for those that have pets, sometimes just spending real, you know, quality time with your pets or the people that you love is enough to raise the vibration. And as I know many of you have experienced this, when you raise your vibration, it raises everyone around you. I had my dad do a test because he kind of was a little doubtful with me on this one. And I told him, go out to a store, any store, I don't care which one, and just be in a positive, loving energy. Radiate that energy while you're out there. You know, when you see people smile, nod, and see what happens. And he saw that it was true. Every time we went, especially when we went together and we were both doing it, every single person around us responded in a kind and loving and just, um, it was a beautiful energy, guys. It was so lovely. So it's like, it's not just for ourselves that we should do this and, you know, for our current sort of state that we're in, our energy, and for our future manifestations that are coming in, but also for everyone else, because we are all one. You know, we're all in this together, and we're all linked together energetically. So what you do for one, you do for everyone. So that's it. I just wanted to come on real quick and give a reminder, you know, try and stay in that beautiful, positive, emotional 
thinking state and energetic state, and it's going to make a big difference. I'm sending you all love, peace, and unity. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.